right, so in 2021, the Masters of the Universe Origins line was running hot, running wild, if you will. And uh, they were releasing all kinds of cool stuff, including this Rise of Evil 2 pack. Now, a little background, the Masters of the Universe Origins figures line um, had been very popular. Uh, the first, second, and third series, I believe, had already kind of come out. And uh, a lot of those figures in the second and third series had been very, very difficult to find. And uh, I think it might even be a little bit further along than that. But it, it doesn't really matter because when this thing came out, it was very difficult to find. And you could find it online um, because the scalpers were snapping these up like nobody's business. Man, they were they were picking these things up thinking that these were going to be some sort of limited edition. Some sort of, you can't find it anywhere. They were they were trying to corner the market on these things, buying them by the by the gross, and uh, yeah, it's really gross when that happens. But as it turns out, uh, Mattel uh, was on their horses when it came to production, and they made sure a little bit later to crank these things out. And my goodness, did they ever! Now you can't you throw a rock. And, and find one of these things. My goodness, they're all over the place. And uh, yes, the Masters of the Universe Rise of Evil Dark Origins of two of Eternia's evil warriors, Keldor, evil apprentice of Hordak, and Origins Cronus, evil criminal from another dimension. Um, and we've got them right here, modern posing retro play as we turn the box around. Before Skeletor and Trapjaw, Keldor and Cronus terrorized Eternia in their quest for total domination. So speaking of origins, this is the origin of our uh, our good friends, the Skeletor and Trapjaw. Of course, Trapjaw, my favorite uh, character from Masters of the Universe. So cool to get a Cronus figure, or he's got his got his full arms and his full face. And we have the collect them all, the cross cell, if you want to call it that, battle armor He Man, Ram Man, Clamp Champ, battle armor Skeletor, and Panthor. And speaking of Panthor, Panthor, the savage cat, <laughs> awesome, fearless fighter, has removable armor and carries Skeletor into battle. Uh, we have a, a picture of Skeletor atop. Panthor on the box uh, and uh, Screech in the background, uh, not that Screech, the uh, the bird Screech. And I, I have heard tale that we are doing uh, Zor and Screech figures, so we'll be seeing them soon. Um, very cool art on these packages as usual, and there was more than one of these. This was the one that you could find everywhere, and then there was an exclusive or a, a chase figure that was flocked just like the old one. I got both, uh, and uh, they, they become easier to find um, later on, but those was another thing that was very difficult to find, um, and that then became easier later on. So I do hope the, the scalpers took a bath. Now, turn this box around, and we've got the big cross cell um, with the Series 3, I believe, uh, as long, along with the deluxe figures, the battle armor figures, um, and we've got fiercely obedient to Skeletor. Panthor carries his nefarious master into combat, and we see battle armor Skeletor atop Panthor and uh, battling He-Man and with Castle Grayskull in the background and Man-at-Arms and all of this and a volcano and just great looking art. I love the art on these things. It almost almost makes me not want to open it, but we're going to open up all this stuff and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so let's get started with Keldor. Um, Keldor, very, very cool looking. 
Um, of course, the origin of uh, Skeletor, Keldor, of course, the, the brother to King Randor, Uncle the He-Man, and uh, the the origin of, of Skeletor. This is who Skeletor was before he had a skull face. And uh, yeah, look at him. Look at him with his, with his awesome armor. Um, of course, this is a little bit more of a pumped up version of of Skeletor. He's got the big purple cape. Very, very cool. Um, got some boots. Some boots on instead of the clawed out monster feet. Still has the little uh, the little skirt piece and uh, the, the crossed bones. So some, some sort of origins of the Skeletor gear. Of course, the apprentice, the Hordak, um, mentioned in the, uh, on course, on the back of the box. Has a very cool look with his little uh, little mustache goatee combo and his uh, long flowing locks. Comes with the double thumbs up, two holding hands to hold accessories. Comes with this Havoc staff that looks like it's powered up. It's got the big green uh, Havoc power, powering up on the, on the end of the Havoc staff. Also comes with this sword. Comes with a sword that's also powered up on the end. And uh, most importantly, comes with this Skeletor head. Uh, this Skeletor head, the, the interesting thing about it, it's got jeweled eyes. <laughs> it's got these, uh, uh, well, it looks like uh, costume jewelry, uh, red ruby uh, eyes. They're very cool, very reflective. Looks very awesome when you put it on the figure. Of course, these pose just as well as any of our other uh, Masters of the Universe Origins figures goes right along with your Masters of the Universe Origins, Lords of Power, whatever figures. Very cool uh, Keldor figure. And here we have Cronus, uh, the origin, of course, of my favorite character, Trapjaw. Um, to be a little bit more simplified. Comes with this uh, black machine gun. He has a little bit of a, uh, a harness on, of course, has a full two arms as opposed to his uh, his later iteration and has his full jaw. It's kind of a dumb looking face a little bit. It's fine, though. He's a blue guy. What were you going to do with it? And of course, it doesn't look as dumb as that uh, revelation figure that we've got coming up. But anyway, um, <laughs> as far as this is concerned, very, very cool looking figure. I like him. I like the helmet. It has the same old helmet. Um, one problem has these hooks for accessories. Comes with his gun. Doesn't fit in the hooks. What the hell am I supposed to put in there? Um, I guess I can put his uh, his other accessories in there from the other figure, um, but as far as anything else is concerned, he doesn't he doesn't hold shit. So um, yeah, wish it would have came with a little bit more, um, but it's still a very cool looking figure. Still has the great looking uh, you know paint ads and and the accessories that he comes with are cool for what they are. Wish he was just came with a little bit more. If you could have given me a little bit more for what this is, um, that would be awesome. But for what it is, it's still pretty cool. That is Cronus. Panthor. Panthor, the uh, Skeletor's mount, of course, based on the same sculpt as He-Man's mount, Battle Cat slash Cringer. Uh, this is the non-flocked version, just the regular has the sculpted fur on there, made out of a, you know, the same plastic everything else is made out of, made out of the same plastic that uh, the Battle Cat is made out of has the articulation with the mouth and the head and the neck and and uh, and the and, you know the arms and the legs and stuff like that comes with the saddle you could put Skeletor on there honestly you could put anybody on there um, but you you might want to just put Skeletor on there he's very cool looking he's purple and green um, and uh, very very cool use of the sculpt back in the day uh, started out as a uh, a tiger for Tarzan. And then a tiger for Big Jim, and then uh, and then became Battle Cat and Panthor. Um, Mattel uses every piece of the buffalo, uh, and I, that's that's something I kind of like about Mattel. It, it gets a little annoying sometimes, a little gratuitous, uh, where they reuse the sculpts for things. But then not only was this Panthor released, but we also got 
this panthor, a flocked panthor that is flocked in the style of the old panthor. Of course, this one was a little bit harder to find because it is in the style of the old panthor and it was uh, a chase figure. So um, they, they did make a few more of them here and there. And I do, I, you, I have seen them out in the wild since. Of course, Raz Holly got this one for me, found it out in the wild, sent it to me so I could have a flocked Panthor. Um, very, very cool uh, flocking job on this. It's fuzzy as you remember the old one to be. A very light flocking, almost like they, they glued a skin, like a, a fuzzy skin onto the plastic. Very, very cool. Both of these are actually pretty awesome. Um, I like them both. That's why I've got them both. And uh, uh, yeah, but but either one of them are going are gonna to work out fine in your, your setup, in your collection of Masters of the Universe Origins figures. That is Panthor. So at the end of the day, we have some figures that were hard to find initially and figures that became easy to find later on. Of course, uh, this Panthor was easy to find right from the jump. You can still find them all over the place. And now you can find this one as well. If, uh, you look at some, some Walmarts are, are still carrying them. So um, yeah, you, you just gotta keep your eyes peeled. Don't go pay a scalper for these. You can just pay whatever the retail price is or wait for stuff to go on sale and pick these things up for a song. Um, I saw these, the Rise of Evil 2-pack on sale for $20 just recently, as, uh, as opposed to the, uh, the $30 or $40 that they're selling it for um, you know, at, at, at regularly at retail or the whatever crazy amount that scalpers were selling them for initially. Don't pay a scalper for these things. Just be patient and you'll find what you want to find uh, when it comes to these this Origins line. I've been able to find almost everything without having to pay a scalper with the exception of a couple of things. And I'm glad, um, I'm glad my patience had paid off. Uh, at the end of the day, these are cool figures if you pay retail price for them. I just wish that they had always been uh, as readily available as they became later on um, so that we didn't have the issues with the scalpers in the beginning. But it was fixed, so i got to give them credit on that. Good job, Mattel. Awesome figures. That is the Rise of Evil and Panthors.